Oftentimes we think that the key to great style is in this next outfit that we're going to buy, but actually the key to having great personal style is sitting in your wardrobe right now waiting to be worn. Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, we are talking about how to reset your style in 2024 without spending any money. So if you're feeling like you have a wardrobe full of clothes and nothing to wear, if you feel like you're in a little bit of a style rut, if you're just feeling Feeling like you want a bit of a refresh, a revamp, then this is the video for you. I'm going to be showing you how to maximize your wardrobe, how to really nail down your personal style and how to give yourself an actionable plan for revamping your style and all of this without spending any money. So let's get straight into it with step number one. Step number one is to get clear on your personal style. I think this is where some people struggle because we can pull influences from so many different areas for our style. We are constantly bombarded on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, on social media, in magazines, on TV with lots of stylish people and we can sometimes look at them and think if I wear exactly this outfit then I too will be stylish but unfortunately it doesn't quite work like that. So when you are defining your style what you need to do is to ask yourself some very simple questions. You need to look at your own personal lifestyle, what you do day to day, where you're living, what your job is. If you're someone who loves the bohemian relaxed style but you are a corporate girly who has to do formal presentations every week to clients then you know your wardrobe and your kind of idea of your personal style might be a little bit mismatched. You have to go back to basics and get clear on where you currently are right now and what you need from your clothing because of course our clothing is functional at the end of the day. What kind of outfits do you need day to day? Are you doing formal meetings? Are you entertaining a lot? Do you go to a lot of events for work? What is it that you need from your style? So look at what your requirements are and your needs and then you can look at your desires and that is who you envision yourself as and that's really looking at different types of styles that inspire you, different people that you find stylish. Do you want to feel confident and strong and powerful or do you want to find your femininity a bit more? Do you want to be a little bit more sexy? Do you want to dress for your date nights? Do you want to maybe be a little bit more edgy or a little bit more fashionable? I think it's good to look at your practical needs and then also your vibe and your desires and who you feel like you want to emulate in your clothing. But what I think is really important is to start with a Pinterest board and if you've never used Pinterest before you can have a private board you can make it secret so nobody sees it and this is going to be your holy grail for your style identity. On this Pinterest board you are going to pin outfits that you feel like really resonate with you whether you're uploading images to Pinterest or you're pinning from what's there you are putting together outfits that really nail down that style that you want the style that you need. At a glance you're going to be able to be reminded of what your style is or what you want it to be, it's going to give you a framework that's really going to help you in the next few steps. What you also can do with your Pinterest board is pin styling ideas for items that you already have in your wardrobe. So let's say you have a biker jacket, you're struggling to style it, you can go ahead and search that on Pinterest and pin those styling ideas which are going to really help you in the future. Now you'll notice that in this roundup I have not yet mentioned a wardrobe clear out and that's because I think this first step of getting clear on your style is really important before you start going into your existing wardrobe and getting rid of things or buying new things. So once you've got the first step down and it's really important, then we can move on to the fun part. So the next step is to go through your existing wardrobe, but you're going to look at this with fresh eyes. I think that we can often get really jaded when we look at our wardrobes and really there is so much potential in there that we are not seeing day to day. Oftentimes we think that the key to great style is in this next outfit that we're going to buy, but actually the key to having great personal style is sitting in your wardrobe right now waiting to be worn. So with all of this in mind, this is when you are going to go through your wardrobe and you're going to do it with a fine tooth comb. I want you to look at everything, try on everything as much as you possibly can. This is where you're going to see if 
your wardrobe needs a little bit of a clear out. And oftentimes it usually does. I want you to ask yourself, have I worn this recently? Am I going to wear it in the future? Does it fit me? Can it be altered? Is it in good nick? Does it look tatty or worn? Does it actually need to be repaired? You might find some items are occasion wear. So you might not wear them very frequently, but it doesn't mean you have to get rid of them. You can keep your occasion wear and your special pieces. It's your core basics that you should be wearing regularly. Now, as you're going through, you're also going to have a maybe pile. And these are items that you're just not sure about. And I think this is important to not get rid of them just yet. So hang on to your maybe pile and we're going to come back to it in a few minutes. So while you're going through your wardrobe with that fresh mindset from your mood boards, from getting clear on what you want and need from your style, this is where you're going to start to put outfits together. And this is the thing that I think is key. There are so many great outfits sitting in your wardrobe right now that are just waiting to be combined together. Sometimes you need a bit of inspiration from Pinterest. Sometimes you need to just play around with things. And this is what really makes such a difference. What I also find incredibly helpful is photographing outfits that you like. Create a folder on your phone that you pop in photos that you're just taking in the mirror of outfits that you love. I cannot tell you how helpful this tip will be for you. It's like being building your own catalogue of outfits that you have ready to go. We tend to think of style like this divine inspiration that happens, but really good personal style is like a muscle and you have to work it to develop it. You kind of just have to show up every day and get dressed to be able to dress better. And you'll find that the more you do it, the easier it is and the more natural it comes to you to put these outfits together. Having that folder of outfits that you know you love is so helpful. And then you can also go back to your Pinterest board when you need more inspiration. So it is only at this stage that we are now moving on to the next step, which is to clear out what no longer serves you. And I think it's really important to not do the clear out in the very beginning, because if you don't kind of reset your thinking about your wardrobe and get clear on what you want, you'll end up getting rid of things that you actually could have used. And then it just resets that cycle of needing those pieces again, and then having to go out and buy them. And it's just easier to wait until you're really clear before you start editing your wardrobe. So have your collection of pieces that you're happy to pass on. You can donate them. There are so many places that will be happy to accept your donations. You can also swap them, gift them with friends. I have swapped clothes with friends. I've given things to friends that I feel like will, will suit them better or that they'll love. And it's so nice. What I also think is great is to sell on any pieces that you're not using. And if you've never done this before, it is so, so easy. Websites like Depop are fantastic, really easy to use. eBay is great as well and also Vestier Collective. If it's something that's a little bit more premium or designer, Vestier is fantastic. I've used all of those three platforms and they're all brilliant. So when you're going through your wardrobe, you will inevitably end up with a maybe pile. And these are the pieces that you're kind of unsure about. You're not really wearing them, but you don't want to get rid of them for some reason. Hang on to these and we will get back to them, but don't get rid of them just yet. So the next step is to make a wish list. And yes, this is the fun part, but no, it's not about spending any money just yet. You are just going to start by making a wish list. Now, now that you have gotten clear about your style, what you need, what you want from your wardrobe, and you've also done your clear out, this is where you can actually see where the gaps are. Also, when you are putting those outfits together and you're taking photos for your folder of looks, you are going to see what you might be missing. And it could be something as simple as a good quality belt to tie everything together. It could be a good basic t-shirt that you need. Oftentimes when we're a bit lost with our style and our wardrobes, it's actually the basics that we're lacking because they're the glue and the foundation that just ties everything together. So don't be surprised if your wish list is actually comprising of very simple basics that you might be missing. And again, I cannot stress this enough, don't go out and buy a whole new wardrobe. So I would recommend starting slowly and building up that foundation of good basics and they are just going to make all the difference. So your final step is to get out there and style those items. Trying out outfits and taking pictures of ones that you like, flexing those style muscles and styling those items. And this is where we come back to our maybe pile from the clear out. So the maybe pile that you had that you were a little bit on sure about, now is the time to style it. If you can style it for the next few days into different outfits, then it's going to show you that you can keep it. But if you really are struggling to actually style it, then you're going to know it's time to let it go. Your personal style is not about buying that perfect outfit that we're seeing online or staying up to date with the latest trends. It's about getting into your wardrobe and maximizing it and actually developing your own personal style from getting dressed every day. For me, great style is all 
about outfit repeating, re-wearing, restyling, and maximizing those great basics that I have. It was only when I got my foundation of basics down that I could actually start to develop my own personal style and bring that flair a little bit more. If you've been here before, you may have seen some of my other videos on elevating your style or, you know, looking more elegant or just dressing better. But really there are so many little tips and tricks that you can utilize. So I will leave some links in the description below for other videos on just different tips for dressing and styling your clothing that I think will really help. So congratulations, you have successfully reset your style for 2024 without spending any money. You will now probably be able to spend a little bit smarter and be a little bit wiser about shopping because you're gonna be more clear on what you need. And when you're in the shops, when you're browsing online, you can always refer back to your Pinterest board, which is gonna be your holy Bible for your style reset. And you can also refer back to your photos folder of all of your outfits and you'll be able to see if this particular item that's catching your eye is actually going to work in your wardrobe and if it's gonna be worth the cost per wear and the money that you're spending on it. So there you have it guys, those are my top tips on how to successfully reset your style for 2024 without spending any money. If you liked this video, please do give me a thumbs up to let me know and of course, if you have not already, I would love if you could subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.